Is the blues one of the most satisfying things to play on the guitar? Absolutely yes. And one of the reasons is probably because it is indeed such a simple yet expressive style of music. I mean, with one or two chords, we can tell so many stories. <laughs> And this is so unique of the blues. Of course, we're gonna start with a pretty cool intro. This very simple phrase is played using two different scales. The E mixolydian scale, which is the beginning of the phrase. The scale is this one. which is basically an A major scale played over the E7 chord. And we're gonna interpret this scale like this. Now the second phrase is played with the E minor pentatonic and it's a very simple yet effective phrase. So I'm using this bending on the second string, the fret number eight. It's quite a slow bend and it's really expressive. Now, if you wonder about the right hand, I'm mainly plucking the strings with index and middle finger. Of course, we can play over the E7 chord with a finger picking pattern, so we can make the intro even more effective, like this. Now I have to be honest with you guys, I change this pattern all the time. If I really wanna break it down, I will say that I am using this pattern, which is thumb, ring, middle, and index. Now the magic here is that we wanna um, start this pattern on the first string but also on the second string and on the third string. The thumb is always on the sixth string and we're gonna alternate between all these different set of strings. all this intro is gonna lead us back to the popular turnaround. Nothing too fancy, we're just playing a bunch of sixth on the E and the G string. Finish with the E major chord, chromatic bass line that is gonna take us to the B7 chord. And then the blues begins. We are combining a lot of different things. Now the most important thing is the chord, it's the E7 chord. And of course it's the arpeggio. One thing that I want you to notice though is that we are always gonna play between the minor third and the major third of these chords. So for the E7, we're always gonna have this G natural going to the G sharp. So once you have the chord, we can arpeggiate these notes and give it a nice structure and color, like this. So I'm using the finger style technique, but also the thumb slap and strum technique. Now the second chord is the A7. And we're gonna play the same rhythmic structure, but we're gonna change the chord shape completely. So we're mainly playing the chord in this position. And yes, it is an A7 chord. Um, it's kind of an unusual 
position because we're mainly focusing on the melody here. And the melody starts with the A, and then we move on to the uh, C sharp, and there is always this um, embellishment between the minor third and the major third of the chord. The thumb slap and strum is not the easiest thing to perform, but it's also quite essential in this blues because it really adds a lot of rhythm. Now we go back to the E7. For this chord we are going to also add more of a rock blues element. So the E7 is the same, but then we have the, um, you know, famous power chord in E, and then we're going to move this fifth, which is the note B, um, up to the sixth and then up to the minor 7th, so. And once we're done with this uh, phrase, we play in this lovely riff, uh, which is based on the major scale. It's very simple, just um, four notes. Um, five notes, actually, since we are also playing the low E string. And we'll go back to the A7 chord. So, we have the A major chord actually played with a bar chord, but then we're gonna change this into, into this lovely uh, A7 chord. And we are alternating between, you know, the bass and the chord. Same major scale. Same phrase, but this time starting from the A string. And we have the A again. Very expressive phrase, and it's mainly played with the minor pentatonic scale. So, it's a very simple scale. But we are only going to um, use it like this, with a bending. Bending again on the D. Then we finish with the blues scale. So we are playing the um, A sharp down to the A, two open strings, and we finish with the E. I really love this phrase. And we go back to the E7. Now, this is the section that I love because it moves to a completely different chord, to the chord five. The structure is the same, but then we are approaching the B7 chord chromatically with this bass line. And then we can put down the chord and really just arpeggiate it, so. Now that's the fun part. After the B, we play this nice phrase. And then we go back to the A7. It's literally just three strings, but it's the way we play it that it makes it so cool to play. So I'm playing 
a bar chord on the fret number two and I also have the G on the fret number three and the goal here is to bend this G, the third fret and then play the E string open and we do it four times and we finally finish with this pentatonic phrase it's pretty straightforward phrase played with the blues pentatonic it's the minor pentatonic the E minor pentatonic but played with the blue note so we have And you really want to memorize the sound of the scale since we're going to repeat it twice more, one octave lower. Now we're going to do it again, starting from the fret 9. All the way down to the fret number 5. And then again, one octave lower. And we finish with... So we make the phrase a little longer at the end. The blues never gets old, guys. I love it. And I hope you love it too. Let me know if you like the lesson in the comment section down below. Now I'm going to leave you to practice this blues. Have a lovely rest of the day. Play this lovely blues. And I'll see you soon.